Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today we're gonna to be making all recipes using Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. So if you're like me, you really love having the option of a quick cornbread with Jiffy, but you don't just have to make plain cornbread, and today I'm gonna to show you several recipes doing something a little bit different with the little blue box. The first one we're gonna make is a Sloppy Joe cornbread casserole. Super easy and very quick. I'm gonna use all of this green bell pepper and half of the red. I am gonna use my little veggie chopper just to chop everything up quickly. We also just need half of an onion diced. And now we just need one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You could definitely use bagged, but I've got this block, so I'm gonna do about half of the block. Gracie. I've got a cast iron skillet here. I'm gonna heat it to about medium high so we can start cooking our ground beef. So the directions for this one just says to prepare the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix just like it tells you on the back of the box. I buy mine in bulk at Sam's Club, so I have a, a large amount, but on the back, it does tell you the directions for a small little blue box like you would get at the normal grocery store. So I'm just gonna follow these directions and prepare it. So I've got our little blue box or one and a half cups of the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix one third a cup of milk, and one egg. Now the yummy part, adding some grated cheese directly into our corn muffin mix. Extra yummy. Okay, I've got one pound of lean ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onions and peppers. Now we're gonna add in this Sloppy Joe seasoning mix. If you need to drain yours, you would do that now. I don't need to drain mine, it was 93.7. Let's add that in. And 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. We're gonna add in a little garlic salt. I'm also gonna add in about a teaspoon of minced garlic. I meant to do that earlier and forgot. I'm adding just a little bit of black pepper. I'm really hoping all of this fits. It said a 10 inch skillet and I'm pretty sure that's what this is, so we shall see. Now I'm just going to add spoonfuls of the cornbread mixture on top and try and spread it out as much as I can. And then this is going in a 400 degree oven. I've already preheated my oven. calling it good enough. Let's go to the oven. We've had Sloppy Joe at least four different ways. I know. Haven't we? I think the ways to make Sloppy Joe is endless, the pretty much. Endless ways of yeah. Sloppy Joe. This looks tremendous, though. I love that the cheese is in the cornbread. Wow. So. Yeah, that's nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. That's really good. I mean, you just added like 400% more comfort food because you've Got the uh, cornbread. Yeah, the on cornbread top. on top. Yeah, that's really good. Awesome. I mean, it tastes just like you would, you know, the inner parts taste just like the uh, sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. So Cole is here. We're eating this for lunch today, mm. and he is—he's really liking that. He's over there nodding. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! This would be great for like a cold day. Mm -hmm. So we decided that this is a great way to make sloppy joes if you don't want to make a mess. This is Sloppy Joe's without the sloppy. So we decided it's just called Joe's. Joe's. <laughs> For our next Jiffy recipe, I'm gonna be making cheesy 
broccoli cornbread, which sounds really good. And it's a great way to just kind of dress up your regular cornbread and to sneak a vegetable in there. We also need three fourths a cup of melted butter. So I'm gonna put this in a dish and cover it and put it in the microwave to go ahead and melt it. So I've got this medium onion. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it really finely. I've got a bag of broccoli cuts that I have already thawed. In the recipe, she said that she chops it up even finer than it is in the bag. So that's what we're gonna do now. It said use a 12 ounce bag. I believe this is a 15 ounce. So I'm just gonna run my knife through this and chop it up even finer. To get started, I've got a large bowl. I'm gonna add in a cup of cottage cheese. Try not to spill it out because I've already got the lid off. But that's gonna be about half of this. We're gonna add our four eggs to that. Let's just whisk this together. To this, we're gonna add in our three-fourths a cup of butter and just stir it all in. Now let's add in our onion. And you can definitely leave this out if you want to, but it's just a pinch of cayenne pepper. For this recipe, we're gonna be using the amount of two boxes of the Jiffy Mix. So two of the little boxes or three cups of the mix. Let's add that in. I'm just gonna start stirring that around before we add in our broccoli. Broccoli is going in. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna add in one cup of cheese. We're gonna reserve just a little bit of this cheese for the top. We're gonna add in about a cup now. I'm gonna grab my nine by 13 dish. Let me go get some stuff to spray this with. Let's pour our batter into the nine by 13. Pour is a, it's not really gonna pour because it's so thick. Let's scoop it out, how about that? <laughs> now we're just gonna sprinkle the remaining cheese on top. This is going in a 375 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes. It's still hot, so he's having to use a fork. But yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's like a, it's, it's cornbread with just a little something in there. Yeah. You know. So it's not just plain cornbread. Yeah, it's just not it's not just plain cornbread. It's really good. It's it's very very reminiscent of the broccoli casserole, which is which I love. Yeah. Stephen just said off camera. He said it's kind of like a quiche, and it kind of is, but it's more bread than egg. You should just make it and try it. It's really good. It's more filling, I feel like, than just a regular cornbread would be. So there's that. Very good. Okay, for our next Jiffy recipe, I'm gonna be making a very simple corn casserole. I originally heard about this from Cook, Clean, and Repeat here on YouTube, and I made it a long time ago, and I haven't made it since. And it's really good and so, so simple. Just has one, two, three, four, five ingredients. And you just kind of dump everything together and put it in the oven, so let's do it. I'm gonna pop this butter in the microwave. It just needs to be melted completely, so I'm gonna do that. While that is melting, I'm gonna measure out one and a half cups of my Jiffy corn muffin mix. If you just have the small box, it's just one box. Now I'm gonna pour in my melted butter. I do have a whole stick of butter here. One can of cream style corn. One can of sweet corn that I did drain. And we need one cup of sour cream, which is this entire container. We're just gonna mix this together and put it in an eight by eight baking dish and stick it in the oven. I'm gonna grease this really quickly. Okay, this is going in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Auntie Nono's to it just because you didn't, it didn't call for any seasonings in there, but I know I don't want it to be bland and this makes everything much better. So let's do it. So, so good. Cole is very excited. He just made him a bowl. Mm. He's gonna pour some Auntie Nono's on his, but this is such a comfort food type dish. It's a perfect side dish for anything that you make 
it's just so warm and yummy and simple. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed these three Jiffy recipes. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know which one you're gonna try or if you've tried another recipe using Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix and you wanna share, do that in the comments. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. I'll see you next time. Bye. Cheesy broccoli corn bit. Corn bit? For our next Jiffy Corn Bruffin. <laughs> corn Bruffin. <laughs>